isolated DNA. Jojo Science Show! Hello, welcome to Jojo Science Show. Today, we're going to be extracting DNA from strawberries. Yup, you heard me right. Strawberries actually have DNA. They have a lot of DNA. So what is DNA anyway? DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. That's a long word. No wonder they shortened it to DNA. DNA is like a ladder but a weird and twisted ladder. It's like if you were climbing up it, you'd be going like this. You would be spinning in circles. It's called a double helix. It carries all the information that makes you who you are. Or makes a strawberry a strawberry. <laughs> DNA is your identity. It's like the blueprint that makes you up. The cells follow the instructions in the DNA to construct the proteins that make you. Did you know that DNA can even help detectives solve crimes? Detectives can test DNA at a crime scene and see if it matches up with the DNA of their suspect. No two people, except identical twins, have the same DNA structure. DNA is made up of your genes, not the clothing genes. Genes! <laughs> G-E-N-E-S, not J-E-A-N-S. All of your genes put together is called your genome. It's very useful for scientists to study DNA. It can help scientists determine if someone is related to us or not, whether someone committed a crime or not. It can help to make new crops. And by changing the DNA, we can make crops that are resistant to insects. These are called genetically modified crops. I wonder if they can make superhumans. <laughs> There's a lot of science fiction around DNA. But what I'm going to show you is science fact. Before scientists can test DNA, first they must extract it. I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to extract DNA from a strawberry. They have a lot of DNA in them. Strawberry cells have eight copies of the genome each, while most organisms only have one genome copy per cell. Isn't that pretty cool? Kids, make sure you have adult supervision while you're extracting a strawberry's DNA. For this experiment, you're going to need a lot of things. Some rubbing alcohol, some salt, you guessed it, strawberries. You'll need a coffee filter, some dishwashing liquid, you'll need a funnel, you'll need some water, you'll need a plastic bag, you'll need two measuring spoons, one stick, and a glass jar. Before you start, put the rubbing alcohol in the freezer because you need it really cold for this experiment. For the first step, we need to cut off the green parts of a strawberry. Now, we're going to make the extraction liquid. <laughs> I have in here a third of a cup of water. Mix half a teaspoon of salt into the water. Fill it up to the top. Now I'm going to take my half teaspoon of salt and pour it in the water. Now stir it up so it dissolves. Next, pour one tablespoon of dishwashing liquid in to the water. Ooh, this is heavy. Ooh, now it's poured in. Ooh, the water turns out blue. Now make sure to mix it up. This is our extraction liquid. The detergent will help break down the cell walls of the strawberry. Soap has a similar structure to the molecules that make up the cell walls. And it's easy for it to get into the cell walls and break it up, which will release the DNA. And the salt makes it easier for the DNA strands to clump together so that you can see it. The DNA strands are held together by hydrogen bonds and the salt breaks the bonds so that they can clump together. You want to take your strawberries and put them in the Ziploc bag. Get rid of all the air before you close the bag. For the next step, you want to squish the strawberries with your fingers. Ooh. Keep crushing.
pushing these strawberries for about two minutes until they're all liquidy. Make sure you work all of the lumps out so you have a strawberry slime. When you break something up like this, you call it homogenization because you make it all of one consistency. Now add three tablespoons of the extraction liquid to your strawberry slime. It's one tablespoon, two tablespoons, just one more to go, three tablespoons. Now mix the extraction liquid and the strawberry slime for about one minute. For the next step, you'll need the empty jar, the coffee filter, and the funnel. Flatten the coffee filter out just like this. Now fold it in half and fold it into a quarter. Now open up the top like this to make a sort of a funnel shape. Next put the funnel in the jar and then put your coffee filter into the funnel. Pour the extraction liquid and the strawberry slime into the coffee filter. Then it'll go into the funnel and into the glass jar. It'll take about a half hour to filter. So go outside and play for half an hour, then come back inside. We let it filter out for about half an hour, and now there's only wet pulp left. Hey, alcohol, where have you been? Oh, you know, just chilling out, literally in the freezer. That's the alcohol talking. Okay. <laughs> the next step is a bit tricky. We need to pour the alcohol down the side of the jar so it sits on the extract. So let's get to it. First, we'll discard the stuff in the filter. Next, we have to pour the alcohol across the side of the jar so it sits on the extract. Make sure not to mix the rubbing alcohol and the strawberry slime extract. Pour in until you have a layer on top of the strawberry slime extract about one inch thick. Make sure not to mix it. Do you see how the alcohol is sitting on top of the extract? You can see the DNA precipitating as white strings in the alcohol layer. Do you see those white strings? That's the DNA. Now all we have to do is take our little wooden skewer and stick it in there and fish out a piece of DNA. It's really cool. Hey, did we get one? Let's pull it out. Do you see the DNA on the end of the skewer? Do you see that little white dot right there? That's the DNA. Whoa! Isn't that cool? We've isolated DNA. You just learned how to extract DNA. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show. If you liked this video, then hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can become a kid scientist too. And ring the bell so you'll receive notifications whenever I post a new fun video. And remember kids, science is fun! Alexa, tell me a DNA joke. I'm still working on that, but I have another that'll make you laugh. Wanna hear it? Yeah. What do you call an angry coach? A cross trainer. It's tough to write a good joke. The other day, I told a joke about a toilet, but it tanked. <laughs> and ring the bell so you'll receive notification. Dang it. Someone